hello hello welcome to the airport safety channel i am your host isaac otu and it is a privilege to take you through today's presentation how well do you know your airport facility parts of a runway we are using annex 14 volume 1 aerodromes the ninth edition and we are currently in chapter 3 and we are focusing on stopways we have previously looked at the layout of a stopway runway strip and risa and yes we have been talking about stopways but what is the stopway stopways which is our topic for today annex 14 provides a caveat before giving us any data on stopways it says that the inclusion of detailed specifications for stopways in this section of the annex 14 it's not intended to imply that a stopway has to be provided. So you are not likely to see a stopway in every aerodrome that you enter. If a stopway is required, then data in the aeroplane flight manual for the aeroplane considered to be critical for the runway in use shall be determined in deciding whether to provide or not to provide a stopway. The minimum runway length or the provision of a stopway may be determined from the data in the aeroplane flight manual. So if the aeroplane flight manual requires a longer length of runway for which it's not physically available and it is financially viable, then the aerodrome will now extend the runway by providing a stopway so where a stopway is provided you will locate it between the threshold of the runway and the strip and beyond the strip you will have the risa so as you can see on your screen there is a stopway beyond the threshold before you have your strip and your risa where a stopway is not provided, you will observe that the strip comes right after the threshold and any action of the pilot to stop an aircraft that has already initiated takeoff process will end up in the RISA. Width of stopways. A stopway shall have the same width as the runway with which it is associated if we look closely on the screen you will discover that the runway width is within a paved area if we want to know the width of the stopway the width of the stopway will be the extended width of the runway on that pavement it will not be equal to the total width of the pavement available However, the length, the minimum length of a stopway is determined by the characteristics of the runway or the aircraft reference fold length as we previously stated. So if there's extra pavement, you don't use the entire width of an available pavement to determine the width of a stopway, but you depend on that of the runway that is the width of the runway slopes on stopways slopes and changes in slope on a stopway and the transition from a runway to a stopway should comply with the specifications of the runway with which the stopway is associated that is if the slope on the runway meets the requirements of an s14 that same slope changes applies to the stopway except that the 0.8 percent slope for the first quarter and last quarter of the length of the runway required by annex 14 is not applicable to stopways now at the junction of the stopway and runway and along the stopway the maximum rate of slope change may be 0.3% per every 30 meter. 
Now this requires a lot of practical application and I hope that it will guide you when you are implementing or inspecting your stopways. Strength of slopes A stopway should be prepared or constructed so as to be capable in the event of an abandoned takeoff of supporting the aeroplane which the stopway is intended to save without inducing structural damage to the aeroplane so that your strength of your stopway should be equivalent to that of the runway if the stopway is weaker it means when an aircraft occasionally stops on it the stopway may give in and that may lead to secondary damage to the aircraft so it's important to ensure equivalent strength for both the stopway and the runway now the surface of stopways the surface of a, of a paved stopway shall be so constructed or resurfaced as to provide surface friction characteristics at or above those of the associated runway also the friction characteristics of an unpaved stopway should not be substantially less than that of the runway with which the stopway is associated so whether the stopway is paved or unpaved the frictional characteristics should as much as possible match that of the runway itself you cannot have a runway with friction characteristics above 0.40 whereas the friction characteristics of the stopway is uh, uh, below 0.29 no it is not acceptable they should be as equal as possible so with this knowledge available to you we shall look at inspections of runway in our next presentation so let's look at our bullet for today and today we're having some definitions aeroplane is defined as a power driven heavier than air aircraft deriving its lift from in flight chiefly from aerodynamic reactions on surfaces which remain fixed under given conditions of flight and an aircraft is any machine that can derive support in the atmosphere from the reactions of the air other than the reactions of the air against the earth's surface so in short an aeroplane is an aircraft that is heavier than air and is power driven whereas anything that can fly which is a machine is an aircraft hot air balloons and other forms of objects that can fly are aircrafts thank you very much ponder on this and let's see what you can make on it remember to give me a comment on what you think about this definition thank you for watching post your comments and questions subscribe and click the bell and share with one and all